Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be swatching all six of the M Cosmetics Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liners. I've been meaning to do this video for like six months now and I'm finally getting to it. I would love for you to subscribe if you have not already and I hope this video is helpful and you enjoy and let's get started. So I'll talk a little bit about the lip liners quickly before I begin to swatch them. Um, these are the Soft Blur velvet lip liners they have six shades and they retail for $19 each they actually used to just have five but then they recently released a deeper shade for deeper skin tones which is great um, and a little bit about these lip liners they're an innovative blurring lip liner that delivers diffused color or contours with a nourishing velvety texture and luscious matte finish formulated with Sasha Inchi oil I think I said that probably incorrectly, squalane, shea nut oil, and vitamin E to help condition the lips. So I love these. They're really comfortable on the lips and I enjoy wearing them a lot and they have really great kind of everyday shades for a multitude of skin tones now. So that's awesome. And let's begin swatching. So the first shade here is the shade Fawn, which is a peach nude with neutral undertones. And as you can see, this is a pretty good kind of everyday shade for me. These are really nice formulas. They're really soft and buttery on the lips and they make it really easy to overline your lips if that's something you're into. And they just make a really beautiful soft lined lip. And this one's perfect, again, for like under any lip color for me, I think. And yeah, it's just like a really pretty peachy nude shade for my skin tone. Next, we have the shade Bunny, which is a pink nude with neutral undertones. This pulls a little coral on me, um, but I think it's super pretty. It's not too pink. Usually pink lip liners are not for me, but this is a pink lip liner that I can wear and that works well for my olive undertones, and I really like this color. Next we have the shade Kitten, which is a rose nude with neutral undertones. I think this is my favorite shade out of them all just because it suits my skin color so well. And this is a lip liner that I would often wear alone and with nothing on top or maybe like a clear gloss and it'd be the perfect everyday shade for me. I love that it's kind of like a brown rose on me and I love that. A lot of lip liners tend to pull gray or a little too pale on my skin tone, but these all have the perfect undertones which is neutral for my personal skin tone and I, I love them and this definitely is my favorite. This is the shade Teddy which is a brown nude with warm undertones. All the previous shades had neutral undertones and this one has a warm one and you can definitely see that it looks a lot more warm and brown and like orangey on my lips this one does and I love it. I just love that the lip liners in this collection are more warm and neutral versus like cool and grayish toned. So every single shade works for my skin tone personally and this is another fave. To be honest, I love them all, but I really like Teddy and Kitten the most, I think. So this is the shade Minx, which is a brown nude with cool undertones. The last shade was warm undertones. And this one, you can very much see that it has cooler undertones. I don't love cool undertone lip liners, but I feel like this one works okay for me. It would be perfect for this time of year as well. And yeah, I think this one's really pretty. They also last a decent amount of time on your lips. They're nothing like the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners or nothing like the Pat McGrath ones. I haven't tried those yet, but I swatched them in Sephora once and those lasted forever on my hands. So I don't think these are anything like those, but they do last a decent amount of time on the lips and are very comfortable and velvety and I just think all the shades are so beautiful. So this is the shade Foxy, which is a dark brown with neutral undertones. This is not a lip shade that I would usually wear, but I really appreciate that they have a darker lip liner for deeper skin tones because I think that's definitely what they were lacking before they released this. 
all of the other shades are very like light medium skin tone geared and this one obviously is a lot better suited for deeper skin tones so personally not for me and I'm not going to be wearing this that much but I love that they have it in their collection all right so on my hand we now have all six shades swatched next to each other you can see that a lot of them look very similar swatched but once applied to the lips they definitely look different so we have fawn bunny kitten teddy mink and foxy my favorite three shades are definitely the first three shades so fawn bunny and kitten I also really like Teddy too, but these are all the neutral and warm undertone shades um, that work for my skin tone the best and I think they're definitely all my favorite. My absolute favorite is the shade Kitten, which is a rose nude with neutral undertones. And yeah, so those three are my favorite. Thought I would just quickly mention that. So that is all six shades swatched of the M Cosmetics soft blur velvet lip liners i love this formula and these lip liners so much if you are looking for a new lip liner and are willing to spend a little bit more money because they are 19 dollars each i highly recommend these ones they're really comfortable on the lips they're perfect for overlining or just blurring the outside lip line and yeah they just have a beautiful shade range perfect neutrals for a lot of different skin tones and a lip liner that I absolutely love. So I have the shade Kitten on my lips. This is my favorite lip liner of the range. So I thought I'd finish the video off with this shade. So I hope this video was helpful and helps you choose a lip liner from the M Cosmetics lip liners if you're thinking of picking one up. And if you have tried these already, which one is your favorite? I would love to know. And yeah, I hope you're having a good day or evening wherever you are. Make sure to leave any questions or comments in the comment section down below and I'd love to get back to you. And thanks so much for joining me on this video and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye!